hybrid cloud multi cloud these two words i'm pretty sure you would have heard uh, a thousand times by now because uh, these are two uh, very very common cloud deployment strategies which companies use today but sometimes we use these words interchangeably so we never know whether we are talking about a hybrid cloud whether it is a multi cloud whether these are the same terms where whether there are any actual differences between hybrid cloud and multi cloud so in this video we'll take a real life example and understand that and we'll understand the subtle differences it has so let's start so let's start with a with a real life example suppose uh, there is a marriage uh, which is being planned in a house okay and there are family members who are you know who are to stay here okay and this particular house is of the bride's house and the you know the families have to come here and stay but what happens that the house is not sufficient so they get a hotel booked okay and this hotel will be for the other guests who would who would come on the on on the marriage day and they would stay in this particular hotel rest all the core family members would stay in the house now just replicate this house with your on prem data center because this is your private cloud this is called as your private cloud okay private cloud is some uh, you know is a place which company manages on its own to manage its routers its servers all the infrastructure will be hosted here but as you grow as the uh, operational expenditure on these resources increased cloud came into picture and that was the time when the company started uh you know pushing some of the some of the it landscapes from their on prem data centers or private clouds to the public clouds like uh, aws uh, google amazon azure all these kind of public clouds uh, they started migrating but at the same time they they do have their own on prem uh, private cloud as well so when we talk about hybrid cloud it is a mix of uh your private cloud as well as something hosted on your public cloud now a common um, confusion would be why we need something uh to be hosted with a uh, privately when we have already got public now with a startup culture and new companies coming up uh, you know it's very easy to say that let's build everything on cloud but what about some old legacy manufacturing companies for example who have mainframe systems who have security concerns who cannot share their data uh, there are data privacy concerns and all that so that's why they will always keep their core services within you know within their own dcs while they will outsource all the digital technologies all the digital initiatives on the cloud so a common example could be suppose if you want to build a front end website uh, an e-commerce website right so the landing page and all your front end uh, development can happen on aws here but after this is built your back end data would continue to come from your uh, you know from your internal data center so it could be your mysql or your oracle uh, database instance this is a perfect use case to understand uh, that why hybrid cloud is still uh, relevant also it gives companies flexibility to uh you know to have something on their own and not completely become reliant on a public cloud provider now friends when it comes to multi cloud we'll take the same real life example and see what are the differences okay so suppose this same house is arranging the marriage but this time the difference is instead of booking one hotel they have booked three different hotels okay and these could be oberoi taj uh, hilton okay this is a big fat wedding by the way uh, which is very famous in indian culture so uh, this uh, family uh, has booked three different hotels now the question comes what's the need right so the need could be that maybe some family member mi by mistake is uh, booked something in hilton while there were other bookings in taj and oberoi right or there could be uh, a reasoning like they wanted to get the competitive pricing of the best of the services Uh, in all these three hotels also they, they they thought they could not be relying on one particular hotel maybe if there are any last minute cancellations what they'll do they have to have some fall back options right so just replicate this scenario and understand that this is what is multi cloud as well 
So in multi-cloud, you have multiple cloud providers helping you manage your IT. So you will have your AWS, you, you will have your Azure, you will have your GCP. And as a customer, you want to use services from these. And at the same time, you can still host something in your private data center as well. Okay, so this is multi-cloud. So multi-cloud means using multiple cloud providers. And that's the difference between hybrid and multi. Now the question arises, what are the benefits of using it? So as I told you in this real life example, there could be some services, right, uh, which are very good in AWS. For example, infrastructure as a service. But GCP is known for its data and analytics, their uh, AI and ML uh, use cases, right? So you could build an application for which your infrastructure lies in AWS your uh, data needs and your data uh, analytics resources ai and ml use cases reside in gcp and then your active directory and your authentication part uh, goes into azure because you already have a microsoft shop as far as uh, active directory authentication is concerned so you can pick and choose best of all these cloud providers secondly you you are safe from a vendor lock-in kind of a situation wherein you are not heavily dependent on one particular uh, cloud provider thirdly if you are a global company it gives you footprints it it gives you that flexibility to access these services uh, globally for example google cloud is not there in china so you could use aws for example uh, similarly there would be other places where google would be more uh, relevant because suppose the uh, performance wise google has the data center closest to that particular uh, office which you have right so in that sense you could use gcp so there are multiple use cases but there could also be the case where by mistake you have created multi-cloud environment. For example, it happens, uh, it's very normal in big organization that one particular siloed IT project thought of using AWS and after some time, uh, they realized that there was already Google Cloud uh, running somewhere else. So in those scenarios also, multi-cloud happens. But as I said, multi-cloud more or less will always have something on-prem. So you have that flavor of hybrid cloud as well. So your data center is there plus multiple clouds. So it is kind of a hybrid cloud. Uh, so when, when you think about hybrid cloud, uh, it could be multi-cloud. And when you think about multi-cloud, it could be hybrid cloud as, as well. And that's the reason why it is used so interchangeably. But I'm pretty sure now you understand what is hybrid cloud and what is multi-cloud and what is the difference between the same. So I hope you find value out of this video. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. So exactly know when I upload my next video. And until next time, guys, please keep learning, keep sharing all your knowledge and yes, keep hustling. Bye for now.